When parents have spent a lot of time manipulating situations for their kids, sending emails to coaches, trying to make things better for their kids, and trying to make it so that they get on the ice more, that a scout talks to them more, that they're noticed more, you can't maintain that as a child gets older. When they get into a job, when they start getting into adulthood, as parents, you're not going to be able to email their boss. You're not going to be able to have any control of what kind of raise they get. And your kids need to be able to manage that on their own. I create a, a, a clear separation of player and parent. Early on in my coaching career, I think I had to learn that lesson, uh, where they had access to me through the phone or at the rink and felt comfortable coming up, uh, even having that discussion, even that the perception of the discussion between a parent and me could be perceived by uh, 15 or 18 other kids or parents that there's something special going on there. It isn't an automatic that kids develop great character through sport unless they have great role models through sport. And so when people say, you know, hockey is such a great place to develop character, can be, can also be a dangerous place for character development because if we're not managing the environment properly, I don't know that we see kids uh, developing in the way that we believe they're going to develop through sport. Let them have fun. Of course, the coaches let them teach. Um, parents, uh, you know, encourage your kids and, and uh, um, let the coaches do what they need to do. I think, uh, you know, we, we don't want to have the parents interfering uh, with what's going on because it does, it does, uh, um, rub off on the kids the kids see that and you know and I'm a big believer in two sports not just in one I think you're you know do seasonal sports you know hockey in the winter um, I know it's tough here at soccer's at the same time in, in BC but uh, if they can play baseball or lacrosse or something in the summer um, I think it's the right thing to do because I really do think players can burn out very quickly and and uh, either get hurt or or just end up not liking the game because it's just been too much I can remember being at a game watching my son play and it was during his draft year and it was a year when scouts were starting to be at every game, be in the arenas and parents certainly started to make notice and it tends to make you pretty stressed and, and as much as you don't want to act different or be too anxious or try and watch what the scouts are doing, you can't help yourself. And I remember I was standing with my husband and we were watching a game and one of the young players on our team was injured and he was standing with his father and he was standing right next to a scout and the scout was talking to uh, one of his other scouts and was talking about one of the players on the ice and saying how well he was doing and this injured player and his father overheard them and they proceeded to tell the scout that the player they were talking about had had a horrible year wasn't very good and started to say some really horrible things to these scouts about this young man and I remember standing there thinking, you're potentially ruining chances for this kid and your child isn't even on the ice. I think one of the biggest things I learned as I stood there is that your dreams should never cost your integrity. Your dreams for your children should never cost your integrity. And sometimes we want so much for our kids that we will go to great lengths. We can just never go so far as to ruin somebody else's chances to put our kids forward. For more information on the Lessons from Behind the Glass video series, visit bchockey.net or lessonsfrombehindtheglass.com.